Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Color Me Beautiful and today I wanted to go over our affiliate program with you. I want to make sure that this is something that you fully understand and that you're able to get all of the benefits that Tapfiliate has to offer you. Before I get started, I wanted to just say what is an affiliate program. The way that an affiliate program works is you get a unique URL that has an ID that is attached to you. Whether it be your name or your business name, it is some type of unique URL that your customer can click on that takes them to the website or to the product that you are trying to sell them. Now let's move on to signing up. I know Sharon has told you you still receive the same commissions that you get now and you still are getting paid the same way that you used to get paid. The only thing different about our affiliate program is this link will track the customer for 45 days. So maybe you have a customer that doesn't get paid until another two weeks and then they're gonna purchase. So what this does, if you send that customer your link and they click through to the website and they say, oh, you know what, I need to wait another two weeks to purchase, then they can go back on to Color Me Beautiful or FloriRoberts.com. They don't have to go through your link, it's still being tracked and if they purchase a product, it will be credited to you. So now that we've talked about what is an affiliate program, all there is left to do is sign up. Now this is our sign up page. It is www.colormebeautiful.tapfiliate.com and you can just scroll down and enter your information here. First name, last name, email, and your password. You do have to agree to the terms of service right here and then click I am not a robot and click sign up now. What that does is that sends us a notice saying that you would like to be part of the affiliate program and we will then approve your account and once you are approved, you can then click this sign in button up in the top right corner and you enter your email address that you just signed up with and the password that you just created and click sign in now. Now that we have logged in, we are in our dashboard which means this is just gonna be a general overview of what is going on with your link. The first block being what happened today, the second block being clicks, the third block being conversions, then you have locations of where your people are clicking on, commissions and commissions amount. Now, as a consultant, you're still getting paid out the same way that you used to, so these blocks will not matter for you because you will not have any commissions through Tapfiliate. Now let's go ahead and move over to reporting, which is going to be your second tab. We are now in the reporting section. This is important information because here you will find how many clicks you had through your link. Now, if you come over here to the graph, you can hover over and see by days, and you can also scroll down to see how many clicks you had by day. Now, I want to remind you again, conversions approved, you will have zero because we are not paying you out through this program. You will still be getting paid out the old way under your consultant division. But this does create very important analytics using your link. So one thing I want to point out is you can filter by a date range. So if you want to see what you did yesterday versus last month, or maybe you want to compare um, February to January to see what you did, you can do this all in the custom date range section. So we are now in the assets section of Tapfiliate right here on the left. This is where you will find your referral link. Your referral link is what tracks the customers that are shopping through your link. So it is extremely important that you have your unique identifier at the end of any URL. So my unique identifier is this question mark ref equals Sarah Palmer. Now, if I had a business name, I would want to change this. Now, in order to change your link, you come up here to advanced and you click this edit icon right here and you can change your name here and click save. Now, it is important to remember that if you change the link name and you do not update where you have posted your link, then your old link will not work. So moving back to our assets page, you can share your link via these social media icons. And we also added some sources for you. So we have our color 101 video, we have our color quiz image, and we have our what season are you banner. And you can also follow down here to Color Me Beautiful Brands logos. This is where you will find all of our logos, whether it's Color Me Beautiful, Flory Roberts, they are all in this Dropbox folder. Now that we have gone over assets, I'm going to be moving to the next tab right here, which is conversions. This is important data, but as I said before, we are not paying out through this affiliate program, so your commissions will be zero in here. This does give valuable data though. You still have the date and order was placed and you have the amount. So 
you still are getting valuable information using this section, but you will see your commission at zero. Sources are a bit more advanced, so if you were somebody starting out, I would skip this. But if you are somebody who wants to know how well a Facebook post did versus a Pinterest post, or you're trying to get a gauge of how a certain post is doing versus another one, then this section will track a link for you. So it adds another unique identifier to the end of your URL. For instance, I'm going to add a new source. So let's say I want to track a certain post. I have this awesome before and after picture and I want to track how many people are going to click through that link. This would be the best option for that. So you are adding a new source and it's not a website so it's going to be other and it's going to be called Facebook before and after post and we're going to click create. What this does is I already have a couple sources here for testing purposes. Now here is the one I just created. Type is other and it's called the Facebook before and after post. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to my link which is under assets and I'm going to come up here to advanced in the top right corner. I'm going to click down. Now here is where it starts getting tricky. Under source we are going to click Facebook before and after post. And as you can see, my link, it added some unique identifiers to the end of it. And this way, it will be able to track what this particular Facebook post is going to do. If I wanted to post this, I would then just copy it and go to Facebook where I was going to make the post and paste that as a link. Now, you do not have to do this. This is just an extra added step if you want to track what a certain post will do for you and how many clicks you are getting. Or this could be even for Pinterest, it can be for YouTube, it can be a special video you've done, or maybe an email if you want to create an email behind it and track how many people click through that email. This is just an added step and if you are up for it, you can do it. If not, you can go back to the default. The last section would be payouts, but since we are not paying you out through tech affiliate, this is going to just be blank, so do not worry about the payout section. So before we get into actually posting our link, I do want to mention if you want to send people to Flory Roberts, you would just have to change Color Me Beautiful to Flory Roberts, and it will send people to Flory Roberts' homepage as well. Now. For instance, let's say we are doing, ah, I have a picture of me wearing the liquid foundation that I'm going to use as a test today. If we want to send people directly to Moisture Complex Liquid Foundation because I'm going to be doing a post on that, all you have to do is take question mark ref equals Sarah Palmer and add that to the end of the URL you want to send them to. So. Let's hop on over to Color Me Beautiful, Makeup, Face, Foundation, and we're going to head to Moisture Complex Liquid Foundation. Here we are, and here is the URL. We are going to add question mark, ref, equals, Sarah, Palmer. And we're going to copy this, and we are going to move over to my Facebook page. This is where I test everything. And I'm going to scroll down and just say something cute, quirky, whatever you want to that grabs people's attention. So now that I have gotten this written out, I'm going to go ahead and upload the photo of myself with Moisture Complex Liquid Foundation in the shade Ivory. The most important part of all of this is to add your link. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. And now we have a completed post that says how I get my dewy looking skin. Moisture complex liquid foundation in the shade ivory with my link. So let's go ahead and post this. All right, and here is the final post. So if anyone sees this 
and says, wow, she has dewy looking skin. How do I get dewy looking skin? They're going to see that they can use Moisture Complex Liquid Foundation in the shade Ivory. And they can click right through and shop Moisture Complex Liquid Foundation, select the shade they want, and it will be tracked through me. Now that we've done the Facebook post, let's go ahead and do one more. And I chose Pinterest to do this on. So here is the home page of Pinterest. And to add a pin, we are just going to click this plus red icon button and click create pin. And you can say the exact same thing that you did before. Once again, the most important step is to add your link. And here is the link with my reference at the end of it so if anyone clicks through this it will be tracked through me so let's upload my image again and we are going to publish it so we are now on my profile i'm going to go ahead and click on pins i see the image right here and here it is so if anybody on pinterest sees this image and wants to purchase the foundation all they have to do is click the link and it will take them to Color Me Beautiful and my reference will be at the end, which means it will be tracking if they do make a purchase. A few last minute tips that I want to give you is if you are somebody who uses Instagram, make sure you put your link in the bio of your Instagram profile. Or if you're doing YouTube videos, make sure you're adding your link to your descriptions. So if anybody wants to purchase, it's easy for them to click on your link, go straight to the website and purchase what they want. And meanwhile, you're getting tracked through the link and making commission.